Welcome to day number 134 towards Santiago. Today I'm heading out of Lyon. It's going to be a nice, lonely road. I think I need it. The people I uh, walked with for more than a week since um, two days before Burgos, or a day before Burgos, I guess, they're going to stay in Lyon. So I think I just have a day or more on my own. And I do think that, I mean, hopefully and ideally I can finish all this in peace. Doing that alone, I think, will be good. Um, of course, I'm open to any person that I'm... Uh, to, to walk with but I do feel that maybe it's just maybe it's good that this way that I can finish this on my my own or or at least walk out of Leong right now so yeah it's how it is anyway so it's good but uh, I really appreciate the time with those guys they are really really good people so that's good yeah I think that's it we'll um, head out see if I can find some breakfast on the way get going 134 less than two weeks to the end of the world. Very deserted town here this morning. Now we can get a better picture. So, walking out of the city here, and I remember this place, and I am heading towards my pilgrim friend that I remember from last time I was here. Yeah, you'll see. What's up, guy? It's been a long time since I've seen you. I've taken a break for like six years. But I guess you were really tired, huh? But I'll walk for you then. So as you saw earlier, I was, I'm out of Lyon now, or the main city. And now I'm heading out of the suburb that I don't know the name of. But I remember that this walk today is a really nice walk. It's up on a plateau between this area and the next. And I just remember it being very, very peaceful and natural. So I really look forward to get out there. Good thing about today is that my Spanish companion from Logroño will join this trek today as well. I met him twice yesterday in Leon. He was also at the tapas bar. He was outside the cathedral where I was supposed to meet with the other guys. He's gonna go to the same place that I'm aiming for. I haven't put anything there, so I think it's the most stop, stop because it's kind of stage village after a stage. Um, anyways, just following the arrows here out of the town, not to try not to be run over at the same time. Had a bit of breakfast earlier. It was a very dry pan panadilla, what do you call it? Yeah. And a chocolate croissant, of course or the similar, what you would call that a chocolate croissant in France, I guess. It's all good. It's a bit warm and humid today, so we'll have to take off some clothes. Yeah, it's a very boring road out of the town, but uh, I'll spare you for more t rambling and show you the boring, what I'm seeing right now, and then I'll shoot some more when I get into something that's worth recording. <laughs> if you have seen my videos from uh, Germany, France, or whatever. The difference between this particular road and that, those, is that this is, of course, has been walked by millions of people, I think. Must be millions. And you never need to look at the map. 
because all the arrows and everything is just in just there you don't have to i mean all the markers are just there there are many of them you can't really miss them so sometimes like there's like five or ten arrows so or more showing you the direction so it's really nice and it makes a big difference too that you can just relax look up and know where the road is all the time that's a big difference between especially the northern france that was not very well marked at all and some areas were just not good so it's easy to get lost soon getting out of the industrial area here which has taken a long time the most unnatural place in the world most likely industrial areas we finally entered nature and slowly slowly i'll be out of all this stuff all this uh industrial crap where you can breathe to make either we continue on the French way or an alternative I'll go with the French way Three hundred left to Santiago. Now we are up on the plateau here. Nature is calling, finally. open I don't know they're both nice I guess Two ninety-eight left. At least that's what it says on the. And you can never trust that, so that's great. <laughs> but uh, here walking, have twelve kilometers left to Hospital de or Berge. What was the name? Or Berge? Walking with uh, Tom, great man from uh, Scotland. We are heading uh, to the, in the same direction at least. No, I think we will enter the same spot for again. the night. Or, uh, Town. more natural in the stuff. sun and we are fortunately soon i think out of the industrial we area also deserve it now i think going on for uh I feel um, like i almost feel like i'm a machine in after all the industrial shit yeah. <laughs> or something. so uh hopefully we can breathe soon so i finally realized why we're headed, we're walking besides the road the whole time Last time I walked this, I took the alternative route. The one on the left that you saw earlier on the sign. Yes. And this road right here is straight ahead along the highway to the town we're heading for. <laughs> so no beauty today, just flat land again. And next to a highway. <laughs> the other way though, if I had gone to the same place would have been five kilometers longer but would definitely have been more enjoyable so yeah oh well so all set for the night just got a message from my good companion uh Ranel from mallorca that i met in lagrano and we walked a couple days together and uh he has walked with another group for a while and they have i walked with tom who walked with that group so uh, we are all going to be together in that albergue, so uh, it's all good. Just a couple of two plus kilometers to go, and then I'm done for the day. And I've walked over 30 kilometers, and after a 
few short ones. It was good to get uh, get a good solid walk in today uh, of uh, plus 30. And I think it's about 32 or something. Um, yeah, bit of a bit of a boring, uh, or a, I don't like to use the word boring, but un, un, <laughs> unnatural w walk today, I guess, or um, just along the highway the whole time. Take you an industrial area, so yeah. But oh well, the alternative routes are definitely more. Uh, natural or less direct so uh yeah that, that maybe was a bit of a mistake but i had put my mind to get to hospital de Oberge today and that was also because i need to make some ground the next couple of days because we don't know what will happen with this fucked up situation and i need to be a little closer to santiago if if there's only a it's few ordinary. days or more to to walk, I need to see if I can get there by walking crazy long distances every day for a handful of days or a week or something. So, yeah, that so is that's part of the reason tonight. why I've walked far today and probably will do the same tomorrow. So, yeah, but uh, good to be close and I will arrive soon here. Look forward to a uh, arrival drink. I also have some really fond memories from here. It's a really beautiful place. This, this bridge is really nice. I was in an alberghi called Alberghi Verde last time. We had a short One day of the most beautiful here, bridges Ricardo and me. On the Camino. Let me show you. Really nice. We will take the rest of the bridge tomorrow because the albergue is right here. And we'll see where we can find something to eat. <laughs> so they're doing nights. Oh, it's a restaurant. Night as well. things. Cool. That's what this is for, probably. Awesome. Yeah, she'll see you a little later, maybe. There's a nice restaurant as well, so this is all good. Bathroom and toilet right here, perfect. Perfect. Bit of a long day um, along the highway, but yeah, it's just how it is sometimes when you don't go left, I guess. <laughs> but uh, yeah, a bit tired, but arrived here around three o'clock. So, uh, yeah, now we can work <laughs> and relax a bit. After having arrived, um, I did a lot of work and I'm really tired and now I'm eating. So it's going to be about it for the day. Tomorrow, 1.35. Another step closer to Santiago. Adios.